Um, so I was thinking of anchoring over here at Water Keys, but um, I think I need to <laughs> just push on. So I'm going to go across the banks and tonight's going to be my overnight. Hopefully it's not going to be two nights. If I look at this, I will arrive there tomorrow night, 11 o'clock, mm. at the current speed. I don't know. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to try and get there as, as quick as possible. If I look here, I just rooted now, so I need to get stopped through all of all of these <laughs> hazards, and then I'm out in the ocean, and then I can just go to here. But the wind direction normally is this way, and now if you can see, the wind direction is actually coming up. So hopefully I'll get some wind more easterly so not going almost like a southerly now and then I can I wanted to, to come here a little water key we anchored here before we anchored here before so um, but now I'm thinking I'm just going to get myself out of this mess here And then cut through here. Looks like I can get through these things here. Yeah, pretty easy. And then onto that waypoint. That's the plan. We are two crazies from Let's South Africa. It. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. It is, it is definitely not one of my best nights so far. Um, I've, I've done a lot of studying, a lot of partying, a lot of working for elections right through the night. And, and that was tough, but <laughs> this is on a whole different level. And it is, it is definitely Pietro who is needed. <laughs> Let me just quickly fix here. So we are going now too fast. Uh, and I reduce I reduce our speed by going closer to the wind, which is twofold. I mean, I will to discuss hull speed later on, but uh, not not in this video, but a separate video. What is catamaran hull speed? But the thing is, we the wind was from five knots all the way up to twenty knots. It's like all over the show and. Then, because we between the islands, the, the waves are ricocheting and bouncing off and reflecting and yeah, right? it's just crazy. So every now and then, you just cannot get a good angle to sail. And I've been sailing most of the time. Actually, in fact, I don't think I switch on the engines once because Pietro and I, we call it a train key. What do you call it? A train, a train cloud. So it's a, like a string of clouds, and I could see it in a lightning, in a lightning of the other clouds that it was coming, just just a band coming across us, and it was it was a telltale sign for me that yeah something's going to go wrong. So I filled the Genoa and reefed. Mine is already reefed. Not fill it, but reef the Genoa. And when we got under that train cloud, oh man, <laughs> I 
I had to switch on the engines because it just like whacked us completely in a completely different course. The sail couldn't recover. <laughs> anyway, so that's when I started the engines. Um, we're doing not too bad. You guys want to check here? Can you guys see? I'm, not, I'm so tired I need glasses to see. <laughs> You can see I've tried to keep that one 40, around 40, and then our boat speed is, is relatively calmish. But you can see this little dotted line is where I should go. This white line is where I'm looking or heading, and then the blue line is where I'm actually going. So I'm going way off course, way off the track. And then, yeah, you get this bumps as well. So when, when it was Pietro's shift, I just went, set my timer for 15 minutes and tried to sleep, but it is impossible. <laughs> At one point I did fall asleep and then I got this nightmare that the, the alarm was not set, so I jump up and say oh, and look at it and it was still timing down it was i think six minutes to go still so i only slept for <laughs> oh man not even yeah what three minutes but then uh, and then uh, then every time when i when i have this failure of sleeping i will come up make sure that everything is still fine <coughs> And then we're not heading for rocks or land and what is the state of the, the lighting. Make some adjustments and then <coughs> try to sleep again. That, well, I tried the whole Pietru shift to sleep uh, with the timer, but it's impossible. And we are shaking too much. Now it's getting much better. I think we passed most of the big islands or the small ones that's making this havoc. It's not that we are, you guys cannot see this, but we are wiggling quite a lot. Um, I can wiggle, you, you see how it, the boat is wiggling. <laughs> but, um, like now, I'm really holding on. <coughs> so, this is my first night and if I look at the timing, I still have 100 miles to go. So I think it's going to be another another night here. I will try in the day when it is maybe calmer. And it seems like during the night there is the wind. And I think it's because of all these damn storms. And during the day there is no wind. So I will maybe switch on the engines and try to sleep. Get a decent half an hour sleeping or something like that. But that's my first night. It's already almost five o'clock, so the sun must come up somewhere. But there's so many clouds, so many lighting, I don't think I'll see the sun today. Or maybe I will. There's some stars. There's stars as well. Wow! There's a lot of stars. Huh. It's just on our horizons that's the lighting, and the one storm was just here now. Okay, I'll keep you up to date. Oh, another thing, Starlink. I have the wrong plan or something because it, it you need to switch on mobility prior, priority, mobility priority, something like that. That two dollar per gigabyte one, and I switched it on and it didn't want to work. <coughs> Just keep on telling me unexpected position. And then I try to change the plans. You 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 can connect by even though you don't have internet, you can connect to the Starlink site and you can change your account and your plan, all of that. Clever people. <laughs> and um, let me just change here again. We are going way. Yeah, so to slow down the speed, but also I need to get closer to my my track again. 
Yeah, but I changed the plan and then I think we moved too much. So it didn't reinitialize again. Wow, big, big lighting again. Okay, Frick, signing off. Keep the light, talk to you later. Uneventful, not much. I think I did three tacks, <laughs> and it was sailing like this most the whole time. Almost like trade wind sailing. I just come in close to to the land now, and of course the Starlink just decided. I'm not permitted to do it on ocean and I don't know, I'm sure I I added the ocean thing. <laughs> Maybe I just don't understand the packages. Comment below what you think is the best package for Starlink to first of all not connect it to one country because we are busy going now through lots of countries and also on the ocean. Um, which one, which one do you think I should take? Because I'm going to change, I need to change it. It's not working now. So, please comment down below which is the best one. <laughs> I, I, nah. So, here's the little marker. Not sure you can see between the mast and in Genoa. Right there, I think. Uh, lighthouse. And I need to go lighthouse and turn a little bit like that. You can see here, I cannot turn much because I'm already quite tight. But we come down and we need to uh, sorry, turn left uh, to the port side. And this is where I'm going, you know. So I need to go like this. The point is... There's the point and there's a huge huge storm busy building there never a dull moment the moment the sun starts to set well yeah it's now four o'clock in the afternoon the moment that sun sets or in the afternoon then just lightning storms oh man so i'm going to i'm going to run right into that thing 70 miles to right in Agua. Uh. Just passing the lighthouse at Castle Island. Um, not very often that you see these in Bahamas. I think I only saw two of them. Oh, three. No, that's not that many. Okay. That storm oh, dissipated, so I don't need to dodge that one. And it looks like clear skies that way, clear skies that way. Uh, that might be a lightning storm there in the back, but that will not hopefully impact us. And it looks clear this side as well. Yep. 
<laughs> right at Great Inagua, I can see a cloud building. It's now for you guys between the, the inner and outer shrouds. I'm not sure you guys will see it. Huh. And that's still far away. According to my schedule, still 20 hours. So I think by the time we get there, it will be new clouds. Okay, clearly, we are now back in the Atlantic. <laughs> here is huge, here are huge swells. And it's not the Bahama or the Exuma Chop. This is big. And they are nice and slow. But there's so much grass here. Got my fishing line out. But it's catching grass all the time. I think it has grass again. But I like these long... Whoa, not this one. But I like these long, slow swells. Here we go, nice. You go up and then you go down and you go up and you go down. But you're sailing up and you're sailing down. Yo! I've just checked now. Well, just number, first off, I might not have thunder lightning storms tonight on the route. I don't see big, I, I see this system here. I cannot determine whether it's a big one or a faded one, a dissipated one. And over there might be something, but um, not a hurricane, but it's a name storm called Brett. It was the third storm. Um, and that's why I'm running actually two hits this storm. It, it's just contradictory. But I need to, I, I, I would feel much better if I have a running path south. And with Cuba, this whole area, look at the sunset. Eh? With Cuba, the whole place over there, there's just no way to run south if, if the hurricane comes through Bahamas. So where do you go when the hurricane is just, just between Bahamas and, and Cuba? You can go nowhere. Um, so, and, and it's just a little bit movement and you will be caught at sea in a hurricane. So that's not a nice feeling for me. And so I'm going now to Inagua, which is positioned between Haiti and Cuba. So there's a path that you can go through. But it seems like the hurricane, or not the hurricane, the storm, is um, going to hit the Dominican Republic. So, and it's south of Dominica, Dominican, south of DR. And so we will just have a lot of wind. So I'm also not sure whether this is maybe already the first signs. If you look also on that side, it's pretty high clouds. I'm not sure whether these clouds is an electrical storm or it is already the beginning of the storm 3 or the bread. Bread, I call them bread. It's supposed to arrive, is today the 19th? and it's supposed to arrive at Inagua on the 24th. So I will be there maybe tomorrow morning at Inagua, at Great Inagua. And then I will look, I will look at the, the forecast, I'm actually looking constantly at the forecasts. And thanks to Starlink, it's actually pretty cool to have real-time updates almost constantly. 
So, this is big waves. <laughs> They're just running through here. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting it. But I can I can maybe speak while well, don't need to look at my ugly face. You can look at the beautiful sunset. And see how we coming over these huge swells. And the reason why these swells, this is now I might not have this this local thunderstorms tonight. I might have bread coming. But there's another thing. These swells are a little bit it stands up like this. And it's because there's a current coming actually from from the south it's coming up and the winds is just just not in the current's favor so the current is not happy so that's why they're standing up so it's going to be a bumpy ride you can see my i got my window down already i dodger and it is already full of droplets we're getting sprayed quite often from the front and just because it's so sharp, so Sisu jumps up and dips the bows into the next one and wah, and just flip it up. Um, yeah, so if it's not if it's not thunderstorms, it's hurricanes. If it's not hurricanes, then it is wind against current. And there I thought I'm going to have a nice, relaxed evening, but it's good. To see now how the waves is re is and why the Sisu is bouncing like this. So because tonight I will not see. <laughs> then I was wonder what the heck is going on. Check like that. <laughs> oh man. So two days, two nights. This is what this turned out to be. And it's just because I was sailing, sailing, sailing. But look at my view. Yeah, that's uh, the thing about, or well, maybe the big difference between sailing and motoring, and is that the wind is coming from that direction that you're going to need to go it takes double the time sometimes less if the wind is okay but yeah your motor say at five knots and you can maybe like now we were pushing quite often six six to seven knots so you gain a little bit but still you do double the distance so you don't you you, you do take longer um, what happens with sailing is that you catch the waves at this angle. So if you look, look at look at here, all the swells it's coming from that direction like this. So we catch them at the, maybe at a 30 degree angle or a 40 degree at this moment. Um, I'm set for 40 degree. So we catch them at the, say roughly 40 degree. While if you if you're motoring, we will tend to go straight into them. So they will bash, 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 bash. So sailing is a little bit more comfortable, but longer if the wind is from the front. And motoring is shorter, but you're going to get hammered by the waves. And of course, the biggest, biggest difference one is for free, the other one you pay. <laughs> we are now oh, <laughs> we <laughs> so used to say we and um, I just anchored not just now maybe a couple of hours ago and I found a little spot there's just correlates everywhere and I found a little spot here that first of all is shallow lots of sand Looks almost like exumas, and very far away there's corals. It's it's really one of those amazing shelves. It very quickly gets deep to about 10 meters, and then maybe for 400 meters that way, and then it just 
drops off. So to find sand on the shelf is it's pretty amazing, but it is it was a nightmare. I couldn't find a spot where there was not corals or coral eggs. The uh, bombies. <laughs> so and it's very close to shore. But I guess I'm not away from the thunderstorms even though Brett the, the big one that was the, I don't think it formed a hurricane but we all was hoping it will not form a hurricane it looks like hope <laughs> it's okay but yeah so that one is coming in in two days time but it's just going to be a lot of wind so but then meanwhile we have thunderstorms it's super calm i think that's bread that's going past there i think so it's supposed to be now and tomorrow but it it surely fizzled out that's 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 a given so i'm just looking at calm blue water sunset and of course a steak yeah so when Pietro is not here <laughs> that's where I'm eating meat and tomorrow meat and if I want vegetables I'll fry a piece of chicken <laughs>